Well, Booktube, here I'm sitting in my main study tonight. It is going on 6.30 here in West Michigan, according to my walk clock. Sitting in my study because I was going to uh, make a video. I don't feel like sitting in the dining room. So I thought I'd come in here and sit in here and make a video, it's just a short one about what I read today. I mean, the last thing I looked at is this book I got in the mail last week, uh, The Invention of Science, A New History of Scientific Revolution by David Wolton. So I was reading that today. I just read four pages of that. And then, well, this morning I read some of more of this, The Christian's Only Comfort in Life and Death, an Exposition Heidelberg Catechism, Volume 1 by Theodorus Vandergroove. I read some of this this morning. I just got it out because, uh, you know, I don't know what to read. Because I still have these other books on my desk to read in the mornings. The Last Adam, a theological... Uh, no, a theology of the obedient life of Jesus in the Gospels or random Brandon D. Crow. And I still have that book, um, Sinaite and the Saints, Reading Old Covenant Laws for New Covenant Community by James M. Todd III. Yeah, I, bo I have both volumes of this Exposition of Heidelberg Catechism on my desk. I got them out this morning. I'm not really into Dutch Puritanism right now, 17th century Dutch Puritan spirituality. I suppose since my wife has been gone, I'm just kind of out of it. I just can't focus or I just feel at a loss. I'm just drifting on the sea. I, my anchor can't fix on anything. So I looked at the you mentioned the science. Uh, I read some more of the last innocent white man in American other writings by John Leonard today, and and I read his other book, uh, Reading for My Life, Writings, 1958 to 2008 by John Leonard. I was read the next, you know, I read uh, 36 pages out of this today. I also looked at this book today. I've had it for a long time. The Midnight Disease, a dr The Drive to Write, Writer's Block and the Creative Brain by Alice W. Flattery. Flattery? Anyway, I had this for a long time. It came out in 2004. It's always down there by my laptop and it has a why, how we write, and literary creativity and drive, and I've had it for a long time. And I also uh, looked at that book I mentioned I found when I was looking for another book, The Practice of Reading, by Dennis Donahue. This thing is really way over my head. It is so... Just literary theory, uh, it's just beyond me. Gotta be somebody who's like a, somebody who's have a, a doctorate in literary theory to understand. I don't know where I got it. So I looked at those books and I uh, wrote in my diary. There's nothing to write about, you know, Carol's gone. Today I didn't really do anything. I got up this morning about 6 and made oatmeal, made a pot of coffee, I read, wrote my diary, messed with the computer, and I just drifted to the day. I didn't didn't go anywhere. I did rake in the backyard this after, well, late this morning. The weather's been really nice here in West Michigan and I should go for walks, take take our dog for a walk, but I don't know, I'm just kind of like feeling kind of blasé, kind of like, oh, I don't know. So yeah, I, I ended on page 154 today. It's amazing how you can just sit down, 
write pages and pages about nothing. Uh, it's just, uh, some people might just scream at the sheer boredom of my life. But hey, I like my life because I like security. Hey, there's nothing out there. To me, like I've always said, out there is the wasteland, uh, the land of the living dead. Uh, just look at the news. Just look at the world. It's, you know, why do you want to go out there and be a part of that? But I don't know, I suppose I'm just kind of at a loss because I'm so used to my wife being here. Certain rhythm, certain routine to our days and the weeks and everything's just kind of disrupted. Things just don't feel right. So I just tonight I don't know what to do. I don't watch TV. I read all day. I don't feel like listening to any music. I'm tired, but it's too early to go to bed. Now, last night, I went to bed at 10 o'clock. But I was awake at 4, I was awake at 5, I was awake at 6, and finally I just got up. So, I don't know. So, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Just fiddle fart around, I suppose. Look at my books, mess with the computer. I mess with the computer so much. I turned it off. I turned off the main computer. I just turned the whole thing off. But then I had to turn it back on because I wanted to see... My wife is going to send some photos by email of the girls and Baby Jack and Beth and Andy and all blah, 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 blah. But photos never showed up. So, so I thought I'd wander here into my main study and... Uh, talking to the camera and make a little video for my booktube channel. Probably will lose some subscribers after this one saying, man, this guy is really, really boring. He, I mean, I'm not really that exciting. I'm just an old timer. Get some young, these young people, man, they're so energetic and they're all just bright and smiley and you know, they just got, you know, thousands of subscribers and but I know I'm not young, I'm not cute. I'm just this old guy who just loves books and makes videos and just talks about life. So, till next time, hoping you had a good weekend and that you'll have a... Today is Monday, so today was President's Day. That messed me up too, there was no mail today. So tomorrow is a Tuesday. So I hope you have a good rest of the week. I'm sure I'll make another video tomorrow. I might go to thrift stores in the morning. I don't know. Depends upon the weather. I really don't need any more books. I got books coming in the mail. I got tons of books last week. I got tons of books to read. I'm getting rid of books. What I need to do is just get my act together, I suppose. I need my wife to get, come home. But until next time, bye.